Let's discuss some things that can be done to save you energy around the home and therefore save you money. Some of these have no cost to you and some of them are a minimal cost. For water savings, if you're on public water and sewer, one of the things to keep in mind is the less water you use, the less water goes down into the sewage and the less sewage charge you have. As we talk about water, some of the things are no cost to you, such as turning off the water while you're brushing your teeth. A water faucet runs at about two gallons per minute. And that would, that, if you turn that off as you're brushing your teeth, that can equate to about eight gallons per day per person. Additional savings around the home would be something as simple as lowering the temperature on your water heater down to about 120 degrees. That keeps it out of the scald range, but still comfortably warm for use around the home. Another consideration would be with your clothes washer. By using cold water instead of hot water, we can save the energy used for heating that hot water, and our clothes really don't need to be washed in hot water with today's detergents. The other thing to think about would be in the dryer. By keeping the lint trap clean and the vent lines taking the hot air outside of the home, if those are kept clean, then it uses less electricity to dry the same load of clothes. For a minimal cost, a couple things you may consider would be to install low flow shower heads and sink aerators. These greatly reduce the amount of water that's used while you're showering or while you're using the faucets. It's estimated that there's between 50 and 75 percent of the water used in today's showers could be saved by using low flow shower heads. And as we mentioned earlier, that also saves in your sewage if you're on su city sewage system. One of the least expensive ways to save energy around the home is to ensure that all the weather stripping around the doors and windows is in good condition. If it's in your budget, you may consider upgrading your attic insulation to meet the energy requirements of your locale. If you have a wood-burning fireplace, one of the things you want to ensure that when it is not on, that the damper is shut. There's a tremendous amount of heat that goes up a chimney even without a fire in the fireplace. Another tip to save you energy and money would be to lower your thermostat during the winter and raise your thermostat during the summer. And if it's in your budget, you might consider a programmable thermostat that does that automatically. An often overlooked maintenance item is the air filter in your heating and cooling system. A dirty air filter can cause the system to work very inefficiently, therefore wasting money and wasting energy. Something else you may consider would be to have your system professionally serviced to ensure that the coils and the blower are kept clean and therefore running at peak efficiency.